Welcome back. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has three more years to serve, but one GOP former candidate for her job is mm -hmm. clearly looking at running again when her term is up. Capital correspondent Tim Scoopy is here for you with a look at what we can expect from Perry Johnson. Five of the Republicans running for governor last time were booted off the field because they failed to file enough valid signatures to qualify for the statewide ballot. One of those was millionaire business guy Perry Johnson. Asked about running again and announcing now, he advises this. I doubt that I'm going to be saying that I'm going to run for governor this early. That would be kind of nutty. Notice that he did not take himself out of the race as he was referring to the timing of such an announcement. His current thinking is that once the current presidential election is out of the way, then the focus will shift to who will replace Governor Whitmer in 2028. So listen to this next question and his answer, which is more revealing about his intentions. Do you still have the bug to be governor? I do. Without his knowledge, candidate Johnson filed phony petition signatures, and he says before that time, he was in this hunt to be the Republican nominee for governor. So it was in second place uh, two months later behind Chief Craig when they actually knocked us off. It isn't clear who, whether Chief Craig was ahead or I was ahead. Mr. Johnson never got to the Republican presidential debate stage, but it appears he is interested in debating for governor again. You can't just say because politics is a little tough, you're going to get out of the game because maybe your message can get hurt. You'll call me on the governor thing, right? The governor thing, I will, yes. We'll be waiting by the phone, Mr. J. Here for you in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.